Clickety clackety, give me the patty. Ayo Goombas. Our undisclosed upstate New York location. Yes. Uh, it snowed for the first time. November 1st snow. <sighs> I'm not ready for another winter, especially when movie theaters still aren't really like kicking. I know like we just had Halloween and every year I had like a pretty cool costume. At least three times as a kid I was like, oh I'm Spider-Man, but I'm Spider-Man in a coat because it's too cold. What about you? You grew up in Vermont. It snows there a lot. Halloween was kind of the barometer. So if it snowed on Halloween, you know it'd be a pretty harsh winter. Speaking of great characters to dress up for Halloween, today we're talking 007, James Bond. James Bond, No Time to Die is on its way. April 2nd, 2021 is the supposed drop date. Actually, starting quarantine, I binged all of them. I'm pretty excited. Unfortunately, Sean Connery did pass away yesterday. 91, that's a good run though. That is a good run. Thank you, Sean Connery, for your service in that role and your many others. Thank you, Daniel Craig for picking up that mantle and everyone in between. No time to die. You ready to hop in? Yeah, let's do it, man. What's up? You didn't say what you did for Halloween. Gavin said that he did Spider-Man, but you just said that it was cold in Vermont. So what did you dress up as? I did freaking Italian Spider-Man for Halloween. Don't disrespect women. <laughs> Respect the le donne. Respect the le donne. No time to die. Ready, hit it. What's the car? Another uh, Aston Martin? Why would I betray you? We all have our secrets. So we just didn't get to yours yet. Why did I betray you? It was in the script, lady. It's funny because in the previous movie it was talking about his age, and now he's already like doing acrobatical stunts. The world is arming faster than we can respond. And M oh. M died in the last movie, right? Where's so there's the new M. Mm -hmm. Whatever that weird. Echo Dot looking the bomb thing that just went off. Is double O off the grid? Well done, Commander Bond. You were double O. Two years. Oh. So stay in your lane. You get in my way. I will put a bullet in your knee. The one that works. I Damn, we'll blow. Get along. So it is that we're finally getting to lane. see more of the double O's. James Bond. So you're not dead. Hello, Q. I've missed you. He's back from the dead again. Oh, the country has. Great sweater. Feel yourself losing control. I'm not going to lose control. Who is she? Is she another one? I James. You gave up everything for her. I'm pretty sure she is the love interest for the last movie. She kind of like filled the circle where Vesper and was. Christoph Waltz is creepy. What is it? You don't know what this is. So she's been in and out the whole time? Ah, oh, classic snow scene. Right from the classic video game? What was that, Goldeneye? Yeah. History of violence. I could be speaking to my own reflection. Only your skills die with your body. Mine will survive. Uh, long classic trapped under the ice. Oh. Phantom of the Opera vibe? History isn't kind to men who play God. Love Rami Malek too. So I mean, I think the question on everyone's mind is, is James going to die in this film? Does James Bond ever die? How many cars get destroyed? I've seen three different Aston Martins. Oh yeah, burnout. With the 50 cal. Iconic. First impressions. That was a lot just to, with, there was a lot of cuts. I focused on the Echo Dot looking Bond thing, but the thought of me saying it, like it was already passed. <laughs> That's like classic Bond mm -hmm. movies, especially with Daniel Craig, a lot going on. I'm a little concerned about character overload. The new M, Q, the other double O's, the love interest from the previous movie, it could be a lot to take in in a very short amount of time, even two hours. Knowing that this is kind of Daniel Craig's swan song, I hope he's not overshadowed by them trying to put in pieces towards a future movie. Talking about a lot to take in, I feel like that's all spy movies really. Oh, if you're not paying attention, then it makes sense he beat the villain here. Or... You thought I was just a normal person? Just kidding, I've been working <laughs> gotcha. with the enemy the whole time. <laughs> Can you explain to me what the movie's about? 
Um, no. <laughs> it's just James Bond doing James Bond things. And that's really all you need to know. If I was to guess on the plot, James Bond pulls like a John Wick. And he like pulls himself out of game this time and kind of disappears for the third or fourth time in this franchise. Something from his past gets bubbled up, drags him back in, and this time it spits him out. Criteria number two. Does it look like a well-made film? I would say yes. Just like the allure of like the cars and the character itself right. and the gadgets. I like when movies like this get produced. They have to be creative with all that stuff because it's easy for them to just throw out, oh, it's a pen bomb, haha. Ha. Like the cinematography, the acting, the stunts, it's all gonna be top notch. They look well done. Just seeing a trailer and not really knowing what it's about always kind of scares me. You do kind of have this wave of an essence of James Bond, but it doesn't really tell you what it's going to be about. Do you think that's a, they know their story per se isn't the strongest, so they maybe they have to compensate with action, the gadgets, banking on the characters have that allure. All you need to do is say, hey, it's Daniel Craig's last James Bond movie and you're, <laughs> there's a very real chance that they might not care as much. Okay, I can see that, yeah. Criteria number three. Will you see it? Yes. This is the first time I'm on the fence with. As you said, with James Bond, it, you're really going to see a movie that is the essence of James Bond. No matter how many clips or scenes that I could watch, it's not going to spoil the movie for me. That said, I do want to see the movie. It is exciting, but I'm not, I'm not going to line up, you know? <laughs> like, I'm going into this assuming James Bond dies. Even if he doesn't die, it's the end of Daniel Craig. Well, hopefully okay. some drooly little five-year-old doesn't ruin it for you. I don't think any five-year-old needs to be going to see James Bond. It's all oogly ogly, bang, 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 you know? No Time to Die comes out. 2021, April 2nd, supposedly. Allegedly. I'll drag him along. He'll be like, all right, fine. James Bond, oh, if I have to. We got to go to the mall. <laughs> have a great rest of your week, and we will see you next Saturday. See you.